Hey, we are Chris and Teresa and are obsessed with all things fiber and guiding you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill, an online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and are renovating a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and our renovating progress are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one-stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things fiber. From raising the animals to the finished product and everything in between. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 55, the unedited version of our current YouTube. We hope. We hope, yes. Okay, we are sitting in, uh, what would you describe this? This is, well, this is like below the, the mill. Below the mill. The yeah. future mill. Yeah, we're so excited. They finished putting in the pillar piers, the supporting piers, this afternoon. And Didn't take them long didn't take them long at all and they came all the way from Minneapolis and they got them done and we're very thankful and now starting tomorrow the addition foundation will be in full force so they're going to start here on this north wall and they're going to work to the east and then go to the south and then come back to the west so yeah so we um we'll send you we'll we'll do some what are the unedited <laughs> some drone video once they get the footings in so you can get We're gonna a grasp of, <laughs> of the okay. size of the new edition, right? Yes. Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And yeah, I'll share pictures of the supports holding up the school. We haven't done that yet. Oh yeah, and those are going away. The, what, what she'll be showing you, the, they spent a day installing, will be, are just for, um, getting the foundation in and connecting the building to the existing, the new addition to the existing building, and then they will be gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, so that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. It oh, and we worked. had to remove some trees so they could yep. do the foundation. What which is, is which is all right, because when they're sitting mm -hmm. on, when we're sitting on the deck off of the dining room, It'll be a beautiful view of the North Dakota Prairie, so, and the barn and whatnot. It'll be awesome. I don't think we, um, on our last one, so last week we mm. did, we were in Montana and mm -hmm. we interviewed Steve Skelton. We actually mm -hmm. did a video, but it was it, in the wind. We were in the wind and we were trying to be creative and we sat in the grass mm -hmm. among beautiful wildflowers yeah because there was pontillas growing wild there but for some awesome. reason the camera decided to focus on the grass <laughs> and, and so we only were, hear the wind also. yeah you could only hear the wind and we were yeah. blurry and i thought you guys wouldn't want to endure that so yeah. we just did the the interview with steve skelton as our youtube which if you have not watched it it, it's it's amazing very very interesting very very so, interesting yeah. he's you can learn yeah, a lot I, about the livestock guardian dogs mm -hmm. from him. yeah i learned a lot about dogs in general from him it was it was pretty cool it was an awesome experience <clears throat> i'm excited to go back someday so yeah mm -hmm. and we yeah we hope to interview him again because we were going to do more but we ran out of time yeah we were, gonna do more. We were only there a couple of days so. we were going to go through mm -hmm. in individual breeds and mm -hmm. he was going to talk about each so we're mm -hmm. going to do that at a different time but I was mm -hmm. what I was getting at is I don't think I shared pictures prior to that of the middle section being gone what they've done here yeah <laughs> yeah it's so I'll gone do that and, and <clears throat> they had to do that because mm -hmm. to put those the the eye bracing in mm -hmm. the supporting because when they started digging out the rest of the concrete in the, where the stairs were that led into the old gymnasium. Which is right, was right here. Yeah, which is what we are kind of sitting in. That <clears throat> they felt that the, it wasn't stable enough. So, so they called in the structural engineer and they figured out this whole new plan. plan. And that is what they have implemented and it appears to have gone well. Mm -hmm. And everybody's happy with it, so. 
So we're, we're sitting on the west side of the school. Mm-hmm. East side. East side of the school. <laughs> the school is to the west of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In case we didn't clarify yeah. that. Yes. And then we should share the picture of the, the Valentine's. Yes, thing yes, on the they took, board. they, <clears throat> at some point they put chalkboards over the original chalkboards, the green chalkboards, they put this, the slate, this black slate that then they painted green. But anyway, they took, when they were taking off the trim off the door, which you'll see in the pictures, because they had to take the doors off, it'll all be put back together and look just like it was prior. Um, but they had to take down the chalkboards on either side of, of the trim. And it revealed this Valentine assignment. <laughs> it was like um, years past. Ideas for your Valentine box. box. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So we'll have yeah. to show if any of you alumni remember that. I don't know why you would, but <laughs> you <laughs> never know. It would be really amazing. Yeah. If you yeah. did. But. Yeah, so it's it kind of cool. A little bit of the past. They didn't even bother to erase the blackboard before they put the new one on. Put the new one on, so it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Kind of, kind of cool. Yes, and I am all set up washing wool in the basement. Mm-hmm. My husband installed a three bowl stainless steel sink down there, and we are now washing. And hopefully, we'll bring the carter in soon so we can get carding here um, before the whole mill moves in to the to the basement here. So, mm-hmm. trying to get some washing and some wool processed here as we go. And it's a little mm-hmm. warm, humid. It's very warm, very <laughs> humid. And it's supposed to start raining any time. So. so if we look warm. Yes, yes, yeah. that is and why. And there's flies And there's everywhere. biting flies because it's very annoying. And, <clears throat> and classes, we've got a boatload of classes now scheduled that will be online, listed online. Mm-hmm. And the new, the Let's see, on the 12th is the next one, right? I believe so. Yeah, and that's going to be a fun one. Mm-hmm. It's painting this beautiful... Um, baby's breath. Baby's breath. And, yeah. Which doesn't sound that exciting, but it is. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's super fun. I've done it in, at, I, I forget the, the name of the place in West Fargo. What is it, Uncorked or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Um, it was super fun. We had some chilled beverages and painted with an instructor on a video. It, it was super fun. So we're doing the exact same thing. We kind of partnered with them and we're doing the same, offering the same class and event here. Mm-hmm. Be here once a month. So yeah, and oh, and last Thursday we had our concert here, which oh, was yeah. super fun. Mm-hmm. They were so good. Yeah, and the purple holes mm-hmm. were here. Mm-hmm. <coughs> they next, next month we hope to have somebody, somebody here. We have somebody in mind, but he hasn't, hasn't responded yet. But he's amazing. Oh my goodness, I listened to his album. He's absolutely amazing. Country Western singer. So, so it'll hopefully. Be, be lots of fun. Yep, and soon we will have our, we've had a lot of inquiries as far as doing some birthdays in the gym and some other events, smaller events. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and so we will have a price list up real soon. Have a meeting of the mines real soon and and get that all done and and have that up for for folks if you have any desire to do that in our beautiful gymnasium that would be awesome Mm -hmm. in the background you can hear mike (laughs) do you hear him yes i do he's landscaping he's putting rock on his putting rock yeah i hear his little shovel do you think they'll hear it i don't know yeah i hear it (laughs) yeah and on this thursday they're going to be putting our well in which will be for washing wool in the mill and also for the barn. So we're excited about that. That'll that'll be awesome. And that's also the test well. They're going to use that as the test well for the geothermal system that will be installed yet later this fall. Okay. That will heat this and cool. Heat and cool. Mm-hmm. This this entire this beloved school of ours. So excited about that. Yes. And then we had some questions from last week that we're going to answer. We had a few questions on the dogs. Which um, we don't feel qualified we, to answer. Yeah, so that was a mosquito. And we didn't get you know them until we got home, so we mm-hmm. couldn't ask him. But yeah, um, so we're just gonna go back to the well, questions that we answered in Montana that we'll do now. That we answered and then mm-hmm. we couldn't use. Yep, and one of them oh, we still don't have the answer for. The largest enrollment 
and the year. Oh, well, we had we Randy, to, right? I know. We, we can probably, it. hopefully, we're finishing this unedited video with Randy telling us that. When that was, because yeah. he may know. We have our historian actually He's eating pizza, eating pizza right now. <laughs> in the event in center. <laughs> so, and he and knows it him. all. He knows his, yes, yeah, so the largest enrollment and the year that was, that was the question. And then um, if the cisterns, if we're keeping the cisterns and we're going to use them as a sump pump hole, which will be absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. So they'll be filled in with sand and then the sump pump will So in case in you it. hadn't watched previous mm -hmm. episodes, we do have a huge cistern just- Very large, very deep. Underneath the school mm -hmm. and it's totally- In the chemistry room. Yeah, it's totally mm -hmm. exposed, opened up right now. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're putting the sump pump. Yes, and then someone also had asked if the rain gutters would put the rain into the cistern and no, they did not because they, the original rain gutter holes where there's a cement ledge that goes all the way around the school and then there's holes that the rain gutters went out and then went, mm -hmm. you know, just And they hauled took it water away. in because we've heard stories mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from alumni that remember the water being hauled in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Along then they would the coal. Yep, <laughs> fill up that cistern and then that that's what they would use the water out of that for the locker rooms and the bathrooms mm -hmm. and whatnot. So kind of cool. And back in the day that was common. A lot, of, mm -hmm. a lot of old homes still have the cisterns below them, which is kind of neat. There's a nice breeze right now. <sighs> Feels good. <sighs> it's so humid. Oh my gosh, it's hard to, it's hard to breathe. Anyway, yeah. and then another question was, how do we move those glass encased cabinets? Because we have um, a couple antique cabinets that are all glass encased. Mm -hmm. One of them of which is holding all of your, you know, felted mm -hmm. art currently. Yeah. And we used um, our strength. <laughs> Very <laughs> carefully is how we used them, but we wrapped them in in sheets and bed linens and whatnot. And then, yes. We did? Yes, it was my old mattress pad that we, remember, we laid it down on the ground and we carefully laid it down. Kind of. Yes, and it came from Hodenate. Hodenate. In Lisbon. I cannot get that word for some reason. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so we hauled them from there in our enclosed trailer and it made it safe and sound and mm -hmm. your, your little dudes look great in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it already had a crack, so. Yeah, it's just, you know, character. Mm -hmm. character. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. From years past. And, and the other one. The other one. The other glass in case mm -hmm. thing it is not. Was, <laughs> It's not really glass. Can you believe that? It's <laughs> old. They told us it was this old antique. And, and we I don't know if they did that I don't back know. in the day, but it's like plexiglass. Plexiglass. Molded. We were slightly disappointed. But plastic. But maybe they did it back in the day like And that. so that's not going to break. Yeah, so we were okay with that one. But we still, you know, handle it with kid gloves there. Yeah, too, so. we did. Yeah. And we pre-drew for our YouTube prize winner with Cynthia this time. Congratulations. All you need to do is <laughs> contact us through gnomeschoolhouse.com, the contact mm -hmm. form, and bearcreekfelting.com and or bearcreekfelting.com. Mm -hmm. And with your name, address, and shirt size, just in case we want to send you a t-shirt. We're not sure what the prize is. Yeah. We, we never really time. know. Just let so. us know and which YouTube episode, which mm -hmm. is 55. Bye five. Yep. So we'll now um, enjoy the photos of of the work that the progress has been done in the school. And it's mm -hmm. all going very well. We're very pleased. Mm -hmm. So God bless you all and have yes. a great weekend. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>